Our body faces millions of attacks each day. However, thanks to our wonderful immune system, we hardly notice any of it. There are many types of pathogens, such as prions, certain types of fungi, viruses, and bacteria. We tend to confuse viruses and bacteria responsible for human infections. If we are not careful, this can be a serious health risk. So, we explain the key differences. Viruses are the smallest microorganisms. They consist of only genetic hereditary material and the surrounding protein coat, with no other biomedical processes taking place inside them. This is why they cannot exist independently and need a host to reproduce. Bacteria, unlike viruses, have cell plasma and are capable of independent metabolism. They do not need a host to reproduce. When they have taken up sufficient nutrients, they simply split in two. Most bacteria are not infectious at all, just the opposite. There are 10 times as many bacteria in the human body as human cells, and they are responsible for the balancing living flora, digestion, and the functioning of the immune system. In contrast, every virus spreads infection. There are no benign viruses, but not all of them are dangerous to humans. Viruses attach themselves to healthy cells and inject their own genome thereby reprogramming the targeted cell to produce a virus. Non-benign bacteria can cause pneumonia or tonsillitis, but they are also responsible for some types of indigestion and pimples. If you have a bacterial infection, your doctor may prescribe antibiotics. This will help kill the pathogen, as antibiotics block the biochemical processes of the bacteria. But viruses do not have such biochemical processes, so antibiotics have no effect on them. <laughs> so, if you have a non-bacterial infection, you should never take antibiotics for it, because they can destroy the beneficial bacteria in your body. Excessive antibiotic consumption is leading to an increase in drug-resistant bacteria which will be one of the biggest challenges in medicine. In the case of everyday viral infections, such as the common cold, treat the symptoms and let your body fight the virus on its own. Subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on any new episodes.